<laughs> it was just on. Mm -hmm. That's crazy, man. Let me show y'all what happened to it. Damn. That's what an airbag does to you. All that explosion just. I don't think it was supposed to do that though. Now I wonder why the other side didn't come out. Oh, and it goes, it's triggered. Got brand new tires on the car. Which say you put them on last month? Yeah, this is total. This is all smashed up. You knocked the shit out that lady. <laughs> I bet it. I wouldn't. Have, I would imagine. Oh, it's a little engine though. It sits sideways. That's gonna be salvageable. Like they can park this car out. I don't know. The wheel might not be. It might not be the wheel. It might be the uh, the fact that it's all crunched up. Like the crumper zone made the uh, hood go up. That's really sad, man. This is a nice little car, too. You said this door won't open? Yep. Yes. That's well over $10,000 worth of damage. Over $10,000. Oh, yeah. It'd probably take them... To put it back, 15, 20,000 pause label, they like, Shh. Well, I'm sorry to, to see that baby go. They said later, talking about it's not her fault. Come on, lady. Oh, that's how they do this. This is just a covering. That's actually a uh, plastic. Yeah. It's just a uh, nickel plate. Well, Honda, anything you want to say to the Honda? <laughs> All you need is a paint job. I would, I would, I would have that. That's nice. It's probably in better shape than my car. One of the reasons is really ain't had shit to say. I did have a little issue come up though with this car where when you first crank it up in the air, there's an odor that comes out of it. So. There you go, some more typical American-made car bullshit that you gotta take it to the shop for. And, you know, of course they're gonna try to charge it. Well, in this case, it should be under warranty, but in any case, that's just one of three things I gotta take this into the shop for. The, the air smell now, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of me uh, putting the bucket back there, trying to keep the new car smell. And every time you start the damn car up, you get this putrid odor from the uh, air conditioner. So, just another American made car bullshit. It smells like old radiator fluid, which I guess that makes sense. Well, it doesn't make sense, but if you try to reason this shit, it 
car sit on the lot. You know what? There's no explaining it. It, it is what it is. But that's just one of three things I gotta take into the shop for. That smell, the windshield washer motor, and the presets for the doors don't work. You know. But the engine though, the engine ain't no joke. That part of the car is like perfect. And uh, I don't know, I guess that's not being nitpicky, I mean. $80,000 car, you don't want a putrid smell coming from the radiator or, you know, you don't want to be riding with dirty ass windows and you hit the windshield wiper and the shit don't work. So, I'll be contacting you Bruce Lowry Chevrolet to fix those items. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but you know, overall it is. It's just, overall it is what it is. I think I'm gonna definitely get me a a daily driver car because I don't know. I, I just don't think a Corvette is, is a daily driver. It's a it's just an extra car to have. It's like a a toy car. Every time something happens to this thing like that, you know, it's small stuff, but it definitely makes me want to just get rid of this particular car. Because, you know, I, I really think it's it's that Monday car. You know, they say, you know, the old saying, GM, don't buy an American-made car made on a Friday or a Monday because one, the factory worker's in a hurry to get his ass so he can party Friday and Monday he come back hangover so your car's going to be built with a little less accuracy that's kind of the whole American worker thing period though even at uh, you know my job at Friday everybody ready to go that might be a worldwide thing shit. every Friday you know weekend you ready to party I think we all should just be rich I think that's the answer. Everybody get rich. Y'all wanna take the long way home? I mean, uh, what's the rush? Huh? Oh, I know what's the rush. But do I wanna pay this toll? which even though it's pretty expensive, I get home in about 30 minutes. You can't really beat that. So I think I will just go home, take the toll road, go home and uh, go hit the gym, get rid of some of this Tommy, down to 201. 201, 202. Just need to break down and hit that gym. Damn, I almost pulled over on that guy. What's going on with this light? But yeah, that's uh. Damn, I like those Mercedes. Damn, my rims are tore from the flow up. It's a female's car, boy. This rims. Fucked up. 